Right. As a medical doctor, I can tell you for free. The health sector in my country is not fit for purpose. It's not fit for our leaders. It's not fit for our doctors. It's not fit for the nurses. But today, we are standing in solidarity with the Obidati ticket of the Labour Party on behalf of Papa. Exercise and I want the whole world, including Londoners, to know the name of the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Three different groups for Papa, for Mama, for PD. And I want to say this for the first one, the Papa. As a, a very patriarchal society, I'm sorry to say that. The fathers in the house, your duties have been taken from you because the economy is very tight. On behalf of all the fathers that can no longer take care of their families, I want you to say the name of the next president of Nigeria. After I say Kekere Nke, Obi Kekere Nke! Obi! All our mothers want us to make it in life, but we come from a country where the dreams of the youth are not valid. On behalf of our mothers that love us, I want you to raise your flag up. And say the name of the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Oh, be careful, And for the most important of the youths, they have killed our friends. Yeah. Yeah. They have killed our friends. They have rendered our friends jobless. You graduate from school, your parents have borrowed money, you come out, they are still feeding you because you have no job. The only thing we asked of them was that we should be allowed to pray. Did they allow us to pray? In 2023, their political career will stop praying. I can assure you that we are going to deliver with the party to us. We are going to tell your mothers. You are going to tell your fathers. You are going to tell your brothers. You are going to tell your sisters. And in unison, I want you to raise your flag. And this is the final exercise. And your flag will be left standing up. And we are going to say together the name of the president of Nigeria, Conway 2023. Oh, Peter Kerenke!